Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to use the loft tool. And um, that's it's based on an article that I've written. And you can see that here. And that's over on FreeCAD info and I'll leave a link in the description and I'm just gonna be basically walking through that. I'll be adding some additional material, but this is the basics on how to do that loft. So let's um, get to the loft. Before I, uh, before I start this loft, let me just mention that uh, head on over to the description or take a look in the description of this video and think about uh, looking up the Patreon pages for the three main developers I know of, which is uh, Yorick Van Haver, uh, Kurt Kermetsky, and uh, somebody named Real Thunder. Now, there are certainly other developers. Those are just the Patreon pages I know of. If you know of any others, let me know. So let's get started with this. So I'm gonna start with a new document and we're gonna add a body and a sketch to that body. We're gonna base it on the XZ plane because we want it oriented the same way and you should, should be able to see how that goes uh, shortly. So when I click OK, I'm gonna just add a random box here. It doesn't matter on the size because we're just learning how to do this. And you'll see that it looks, um, looks like it's on edge. So what we're seeing is we're seeing from the top of the uh, document but we're looking at the XY plane of the sketch. So that rectangle, or XZ plane, I'm sorry. Um, so it's the XZ plane of the document, but this is the X and Y of the sketch. And why that's important is later on, we have to know that the Z axis is coming up this direction from the sketch. So let's add our second sketch. And we're gonna do that on the XZ plane of the document or the body. Not sure how that's distinguished, but work on that later. And we'll add another sketch. Now we need this to be moved away from this a certain amount, but let me show you how, why I picked the XZ. So now you see how they're, uh, it's oriented the same. And we've got, I think that's the front, yeah. So that's good. So I wanna move this away from the other, uh, the other sketch. And we'll use that by moving the Z in the attachment. Now, it has to be the attachment because this sketch is attached to the body. So you can't change the placement of the sketch because it's locked to the body, but we can change the how it's attached. So this is the equivalent of the attachment offset if you go into the dialog. So I'm just going to move it out to 50 because that kind of works for this. And that's it. So it's that easy to move the sketch. Now we also want to angle, oh no, I don't want to angle it because that's the sweep. So the next thing I want to do is select the sketch to uh, that we're gonna uh, loft from. And then we click the loft tool. And now we gonna, we're gonna add a section. And sometimes I just ignore the errors because sometimes they don't seem to matter. And you can pick any line, it'll pick the whole object for you and we'll add the loft. So it's that easy to add a loft. Now, if you were on my channel before and you've seen uh, this uh, make a draft, there's a video for that. Uh, it, you might say, oh, that's, that's simpler, but the draft, is gonna, the draft on a face is gonna be limited. Because um, you can create this shape with a draft on a face and even with multiple, but watch what I can do with uh, With the second sketch if we change the, the rectangle out, let's put in a circle We can make a loft. That's that's uh, a more unusual shape. So let's get rid of the rectangle and When we close the sketch, you'll see the loft has been updated with the new with the new shape now I don't know what we'd use this for maybe a feed bin for uh for a, a feeder bin for an auger. <laughs> so maybe we can make a tr change this to a thickness. I wonder if that'll work on that. Nope. <laughs> um, but anyway, so let's change this to something else. And, and you can see, let's do it to a six sided duty here. And uh, let's actually not even center it. I'll just put it off, off center a little bit and hit close and you'll see that it's done it's completed the loft now you know I wouldn't ask too much of the loft uh, feature because you know as far as I can tell this is probably a very complicated uh, calculation uh, but you know so you know keep in mind you you can break the loft and let's try it with this with, with something else altogether let's do it with uh, let's just do it with random sides so I'm gonna do the uh, polyline tool and we're just gonna I'm gonna create more than four sides and I and see what happens. Basically at this point I'm trying to get it to fail and it didn't. So 
Uh, you can get it to fail somehow if there's not the equivalent sides, or I might be thinking of the sweep tool. But anyway, if you like this video, make sure you um, make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on the likes because that helps me get uh, that helps spread the word. And click on the alarm if you want to get notified. So have a great day and thanks for watching.